Hello, welcome to The Kitchen Spy. My name is Kate and here's another recipe for you. And this week it's a really simple recipe with hardly any ingredients and the ingredients are very basic, but it's a really, really tasty meal. So this is Pan Haggerty and I got this recipe from the Hairy Dieters cookbook, which it, for those of you who don't know, that's the Hairy Bikers um, and they went through a stage of trying to lose weight it didn't last that long, but um, yeah, I, I think they've kept weight off. But anyway, they produced a number of cookbooks and they are really good books with really good flavours in. And this is a traditional northeast of England dish. And I know some people have said to me that this is not a particularly authentic recipe, but I think everyone's is different. So, um, yes, I hope you enjoy this recipe. It's really simple and really very tasty indeed. And you can do a lot with the leftovers too. So I'll leave the ingredients listed down below in case you want to give it a go. And if you do, just let me know how you get on. I always like to know if you enjoy the meals that I um, put recipes up for. So I've got two fairly large onions here which have just been sliced. And then I've got 200 grams of bacon medallions which have just been cut into small pieces. And this recipe serves four people. Then I've got some cheddar cheese. You can use low fat cheese for less calories if you want to. This is 100 grams of normal um, cheddar cheese. Then I've got about three or four largest carrots chopped up. And then I've got six or seven um, large, largest potatoes. It came to about 750 grams of potatoes. And as you can see here, I've just sliced them um, fairly thinly, not wafer thin or anything, um, because we don't want them to melt into the liquid. And then we've got some cayenne pepper, which I'll use just to sprinkle on the top, some spray oil and some pepper. We don't need any salt for this recipe. And also I've got about 500 mils of chicken stock. So over in the pan, I'm just going to spray it with some oil. And this is just my usual spray oil that I use, but you can obviously just use a slug of whatever oil is your preference. You're going to need a wide based shallow pan and it needs to have a tight fitting lid. And if you haven't got one with a tight fitting lid, you can always put some foil over the pan and then put the lid on it. So over in the pan, we are frying off the onions and the bacon medallions. They don't need to be crispy or anything. They just need to be cooked through until they're kind of a mid brown color and um, they'll get a bit more cooking later. So the principle of this is that we cook them and then we take them out of the pan and then we add them in later when we put some more of the other ingredients in. And then uh, once you get to the point where they're browns like they are here, just slightly browns, then just remove them from the pan and just keep them to one side. Um, you can see here that uh, the base of my pan has uh, burnt a little bit on one side and that's because one of the gas rings that I've got, and I think I talked about this on one of the hauls, um, is kicking up a kind of weird flame and um, actually I've had the subsequently I've had the uh, cooker serviced and we've now got a resolution to it so um, yeah all, all being good it should be okay so because it did that I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't a part of the dish that was going to be more burnt than others so what I did was just added a little bit of stock into the pan just to um, make sure that I got the, the crusty bits off and they all add some flavour anyway. So just use stock and just mix it around a bit so that we're getting the, the worst of the, uh, I'm gonna call it caramelization off the bottom of the pan. Then once we've done that, we just need to layer up with the potatoes. So I've got the bowl of potatoes here and I'm just gonna layer them in a single layer across the bottom of the pan. And um, I'll speed that up a bit because you don't need to see it at real time. Um, so yeah, this is a really, really simple dish and you don't have to be too fancy about putting the potatoes in any particular order. And then after you've um, put the potatoes on, then just put about a third of the mixture of the bacon and onions and spread it round because obviously, um, it, you know, you want to make sure each piece is more or less 
got the same ingredients in it. So just pop the bacon and onions across the top of the potatoes. Um, and then you can do the same with the carrots. So just sprinkle the carrots over the top. And again, just making sure that every piece has some carrots in. And then literally all we need to do is just do that for the rest of the ingredients, just layering them up, finishing with the top layer of potatoes. So um, again, I'll just speed that through. Um, while that's happening and we're watching it being built, I just talked to you about uh, what I do with the leftovers. Um, so with the leftovers of this, so this serves four people really generously. And with the leftovers, what I did with it the following day, and you will have seen this if you saw my Meals of the Week video this week, is I just uh, fried it up and then added some eggs and made a kind of savoury omelette or frittata almost because it's got potatoes in it with it. And that was really delicious as well. And then um, and then the omelette did us for one uh, fairly major meal, but also it, um, it actually did sandwiches the next day. So I got such a lot of meals out of this and the ingredients are really cheap. I haven't worked out how much it is per portion, but you know, it's going to be pennies really. So once we've got all of the carrots and all of the bacon in, then we just need to add the potatoes and you can be tidier than I'm being here if you want to be. But I'm just um, making sure that in as far as possible, there's an even layer of potatoes over the dish. And then once I've done that, we just add the stock. So the rest of the stock, I only use like maybe a tablespoonful of it before so I'm just making sure that the stock goes all over the potatoes and because obviously it sinks into the potatoes I'm just making sure that all of the stock pot has melted and then once we've done that we just pop the lid on and we just need to cook that for about 20 to 25 minutes until the vegetables are all cooked so uh, here it is after the cooking time and um, I you can see, I don't know whether you can see whether a potato is cooked, you have to test it, but it is cooked. I tested them by uh, just prodding them with a fork. So then I'm just sprinkling the cheese on top. And like I said, this is actually normal full fat cheese. Um, my personal preference is to use full fat um, cheese when, you know, when I want to do this kind of thing, because you don't use very much. So there's a hundred grams here. So each portion only has 25 grams. So I think it's worth using the normal, uh, the normal cheese because, you know, the flavor for me anyway is so much better. And then I'm sprinkling it with cayenne pepper, but you can also sprinkle it with paprika if you want to. And then you just want to pop that under the grill until the cheese is lovely and brown and melted. So here it is out from under the grill. And yeah, it's um, like I said, this is such an easy recipe. Um, the thing to make sure is that you have got a tight fitting lid on your pan or like I say use a piece of foil because you really need the steam to cook the potatoes in the top. So the um, there is um, some liquid at the bottom still just a small amount of stock left and that's thickened a little bit where some of the potatoes have broken down and it is such a tasty recipe honestly for the simple things that go into it it is just unbelievable and I would I'm going to use the phrase I always use which is it's so much more than the sum of its parts and it is so I've served it here um, as you can see this is a quarter of the a quarter of the pan haggerty and I've just served that with some tender stem broccoli and some baby sweet corn um, so <laughs> on my meals of the week when this was on someone made a comment that the baby sweet corn were hilarious <laughs> so I don't know whether it's like a British thing or something that the baby sweet corns are used as a vegetable I don't know anyway this was um, a lovely meal and all together um, that portion of pan haggerty was 363 calories and then obviously the vegetables on the side so yeah, there we are. That's it. Really simple, really easy, really quick and also really cheap to make. And this recipe, as I said, actually made three meals for two people. So six meals out of that recipe. I don't think you can moan at that. And it is really lovely. 
and uh, what I would say is you can add other vegetables if you want to make it your own. I, I think it's just a, a good principle. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. If you do give it a go, please let me know how you get on. Send me a picture over on Instagram or, or, um, or tag me in your picture on Instagram or whatever. It'd be lovely to see your version of it if you do make it. So thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate your support. And if you've made it to the end of the recipe, thank you for that. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one, which will be Meals of the Week on Monday. And in the meantime, take care, stay safe. If you're not already subscribed and you think you might want to, then a button will be coming up soon. And if you did like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.